Welcome to another episode of Preparing for the Unexpected. I'm your host, Alex Fullick, and as always, we like to talk about things related to disasters, business continuity, crises, COVID, chaos, resilience, anything that helps you, your organization, or your community prepare for, respond to, and overcome adverse situations. Today, I want to talk about a disturbing news report I'd heard on uh, Sunday. Now, in this house, Sundays, um, we go for a Sunday drive out into the country. We let the dog run around in fields, go on hikes. You know, we just Sunday mornings, you know, a little bit of uh, downtime for everybody. And during that time, I listen to the radio, you know, the latest news or music or, you know, listen to CDs or whatever the case may be. But there was a news report that came on that uh, kind of disturbed me. And it came from uh, Italy, or the report came out of Italy. And it turns out that doctors, nurses, and other healthcare staff, you know, the frontline care workers uh, during COVID, are being abused by you know, the citizenry. You know, they're being looked at, uh, as one person put this, and th I quote this, they're being treated as terrorists because they're treating people with COVID and they're around people with COVID. So they're being looked at as though they are, uh, could be spreading the disease. You know, their children are not being allowed to play with other neighborhood children. You know, they're, so their doctors and nurses, children are being impacted for nothing, no reason whatsoever. There was even a report of a couple of car windows being smashed. You know, and they're being verbally abused. And in a couple of instances, a doctor uh, was actually uh, hit, you know, uh, assaulted, physically assaulted. Can you believe that? These are the people that put their lives on the line. They're around all kinds of diseases all day and different ailments. And they are there to help us, make us feel better, get healthy. And yet they're being abused. Why? That makes absolutely no sense to me. These are the people that are also doing research to find cures with different companies. They are the ones that treat our diabetes, our cuts, our bruises, you know, our broken bones. These are also the people, you know, that we look at, you know, and trust all the time. You know, I would trust a, a doctor, a nurse, you know, a healthcare worker, frontline worker above any politician you know, above any bosses I have, any corporate leadership, anyone. These are the people you just don't question. You know, I don't see a reason why we would, anyone would question the abilities and the motives of doctors and nurses. You may recall in the United States, there was a, a Trump administration official who suggested that maybe doctors were purposely or over inflating numbers so they can make more money. Really? That was unbelievable. And having this occur in Italy is unbelievable. Does that mean this is occurring in other countries around the world as well? Doctors who are seen as saviors are now seen as demons and being demonized you know, and put down. This, this makes no sense. No sense whatsoever. If you've got diabetes or cancer, you're looking at these people to help cure you, help make you feel better, live with what you have and survive, move beyond it and live a full, happy, healthy life. COVID comes along and all of a sudden we're being violent towards them. This makes no sense. Why are we doing this? Are we believing so many conspiracy theories that doctors and nurses are purposely spreading COVID? They're dying too, you know. I don't understand why we are doing this. If you know someone who's a doctor, a nurse, someone in the healthcare profession who's out there on a daily business, and they could be in hospitals, clinics, doctor's offices, long care, home facilities. These are the people that are right there helping you helping your family, helping your friends, helping your work colleagues, helping complete strangers get through this while being right on the front line. It's like telling somebody in a foxhole, you have no courage. 
while we're sitting on our comfy couch thousands of miles away. No, it doesn't cut it. If you know anyone that works in the first line, you make sure they damn well know how important they are. And not just Italy or any country. You look at your doctors with respect. I'm a firm believer these people are going to help us get through this. I could get really, uh, I know I could say more, but YouTube might remove the video. So I'm going to end here. But to everybody who is in the healthcare industry, in any shape or form, you know, keeping us safe, keeping our families safe, our organizations, our communities, our nations, our world safe, thank you. And those people that are shouting abuses, they don't represent most of us, and they certainly don't represent me. In the meantime, stay prepared, everybody.